Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. I'm online here with you because I want to tell you about something we're going to start one week from today. Next Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and it begins the season of Lent. We are doing something very special this year. We're going on a journey, a Lenten journey, through a book called The Unvarnished Jesus by Brian Zahn. In this book are daily devotions and a scripture reading that will help you to contemplate the portrait of Jesus Christ as presented in the gospel accounts. I don't know if you've ever looked at a portrait or not, but I have one behind me here. It's an abstract. But as you look closely at it, you can see the lines across the face of Jesus tell the story of who he is and where he has been. Sometimes we're not familiar with the story all that often, are we? Sometimes it's glazed over with varnish and shellac that we have been told for many years. In the introduction of this book by Brian Zahn, he talks about the same reaction to the Taj Mahal. And I want to read this for you as an illustration of how our eyes might be able to see with clarity the person of Christ. Brian Zahn writes in the introduction to this book, On the long flight home, I read Step Across the Line, a collection of essays by the Indian-born writer Salman Rushdie. In his essay on the Taj Mahal, I came across this paragraph. The problem with the Taj Mahal is that it has become so overlaid with accumulated meanings as to be almost impossible to see. When you arrive at the outer walls of the gardens in which the Taj is set, it's as if every hustler and hawker in Agra is waiting for you to make the familiarity breeds contempt problem worse, peddling imitation mahals of every size and price. This leads to a certain amount of shoulder shrugging disenchantment. Recently, a British friend who was about to make his first visit to India told me that he had decided to leave the Taj off his itinerary because of its overexposure. If I urged him not to, it's because of my own vivid memory of pushing my way for the first time through the jostling crowd of imitation vendors past all the myriad hawkers of meaning and interpretation and into the presence of the thing itself, which utterly overwhelmed me and made all my notions about its devaluation feel totally and completely redundant. The building itself left my skepticism in shreds. That's what we hope to do in this journey, is to leave your skepticism in shreds as we get a fresh look at the portrait of Jesus. I trust you'll join us. If you need a copy of The Unvarnished Jesus, you can purchase one on Amazon for $11.22. Or if you need a little bit of help in that area and would like a copy, I have several available to me. Let me know. Email me at larry.posa at gmail.com. I'll get one in your hands. And we will begin next Wednesday. We will also have an Ash Wednesday service at 7 p.m. Put that on your calendars. We'll talk a little bit about what we've read so far. We'll have some devotions and insight. We'll have a couple of songs that we will contemplate together. I hope you'll join us as we begin Lent on Ash Wednesday at 7 p.m. in the Sanctuary of First Christian Church. I trust you'll have a great day. We'll see you soon.